Hello and welcome. Let's work on a practical example using before and after pseudo element in CSS. If you go to the next the next web website here, as you can see, here is an image. Uh, not um, here is an article, and after, as you can see in the background of the article, we have an image. Then above this one, we have a little color here. Now that color is not uh, the color of the image. If you click on the article, as you can see, this is the image. But in the home page, the show is slightly uh, transparent with gradient color over the image. How they do that one? In this video, we are going to make that one. So let's see how you do that. Okay, we have a little uh, file open here. No style, not more, a lot of HTML. Here we have a card here. Let's say it is a card, for example, this is a card. And we have an image here. This is the blog image. Then we should have a little title here. So I will write uh, that on H3. And I will just, uh, let's bring this title here. Copy it. And we will paste it here. So for now, if I open this in the browser and refresh it, it is going to display like this. So I'll make it smaller, first of all. I will say our card should have the width of 400 pixels. If I refresh the page, as you can see, nothing has changed. And if I come here and say position to relative, again refresh, nothing has changed. So let's select the images here. I will say inside the card we have an image. An image must have a width of 100 pixels. This time, if I refresh my page, now it is working. Because it is going to say that, because we have worked with uh, positioning uh, in the past, it says that my parent has a, a relative position and I should be 100% based on that. It means this is also 400 pixel, the image size. It's fine for now. Let's bring the this uh, title above this one, above the image. Card, we have H3. Inside this one, we have H3. And it must have position of absolute then top of let's say not the bottom should be of uh, 20 pixel if i refresh the page it will be displaying here and we'll give them a little bit of padding also padding of uh, let's say 15 pixel if i refresh now it will display in a bit better position so far it looks good for us but now how you add the gradient above this one now the color should be white okay that is the easy part the color should be white and i refresh the page it is fine how we display the gradient above this one this is how you can use before and after if i come here and say our card has before the card if I select this one, I can select before the card and add a content. In the previous video, we said when you use the pseudo element, you we must add the content here. For example, we add a gibberish text here. It will be adding here. Now, if I give this a position of absolute, as still I can move this one. Position of absolute. And if I refresh the page, it will be here. Now, if I give this a background, what will it look like? Background of red refresh it will be red now what else when you give them any position of uh, absolute we have already discussed them you can give them top of zero bottom of zero left zero and right zero if i refresh the page now it will cover the whole image now what i am going to do is i am going to add a rgb color here or gba R G B A for the color if I add some random color for example the first one is red the third one is uh, green the fourth one is blue ah, okay the blue and the fifth one will be 0 0.4 it is going to be the alpha transparency it will give us this color of course it does not look good so let's give them that red or this color for now as you can see, you can change the transparency from here. Transparency is 2, 1, 2 for now. If I refresh the page, now it will look like this. As you can see, we have uh, successfully made the 
it will look like this but it is not like that because when you use gradient it will be better so if you go to any css3 gradient generator of course we will discuss about gradient in a separate movie and uh, a separate video for now let's see my color that is species is i think the best website you can come for generating uh, gradient if you select this position and give them the first color let's say the first color is this color and the third color here it is a little dark okay, we can select this one and we can give them transparency later for now it will look like this you can just copy the code from here go to your code paste it now it will look from right to bottom to right as you can see from the right to bottom it will give them the color for now if i come here and refresh the page it will looks almost like this one now i can give them the transparency also that we should be able to see the image i will select the before as you can see here is the before and now i say this one must have the transparency as you can see it is hex and this should be almost like this it should not be too much dark they have used a lot of colors you can remove some of them of course and you can give this one also a little bit transparency plus the middle one and this one yes it is almost what we want copy it this is a temporary value here so i will come here remove it then paste the new one i will save it and then i will put the content as nothing to double quotation now if i refresh it it will looks like what we expect except the font is not very good of course you can say the font family should be serif serif is fine okay refresh the page it will look like this as you can see we have successfully used the before either it is before or after it does not matter if i write after save it still it should work the same as you can see when you use the after it will be after and the content should uh, it will hide the content that's why we use before if you use them make sure uh, you are adding uh, after that and uh, when you would add after that it will take the the position above the text you can change that later or you can use the z, z indexing for now we just change it to before save it and refresh the page this is what we want as you can see it is almost similar you can customize it a bit and this is how you can use before and after i hope it has been informative for you and thank you for watching